What's up guys? I have a story for you guys today. Um, we are here in beautiful Colombia. And I don't know if you can see outside, but we're right here on the ocean and it's really beautiful. And I'm, I'm here with my buddy Kren, who is learning Spanish. And so I've been helping him a lot while we've been here. Um, how long have we been here? Like week, a week and, week and a half, and something a half, like that. Yeah. Yeah, so um, having a great time, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about his experience learning and practicing Spanish here in Colombia. So um, I don't know what you just want to tell them a little bit about how much Spanish you know, or like how much you knew kind of before. Sure. So my entire family speaks Spanish except for me. I'm the only one that doesn't. Even my brother does, and. I know a lot of words. Uh, I know my basic, you know, verb conjugations and things like that. But I don't. I when I started, I I didn't know past tense. Uh, I still don't know future tense. I I would say I'm average to barely above average in my my Spanish yeah. speaking. And as a reference, um, he was he grew up in the United States, but all most of his family on his dad's side is from Colombia. So. That's why they all speak Spanish, but he, his Spanish it has some room to improve. In order yeah. to learn a language, you have to not be afraid. You have to just be bold and practice and just, just open your mouth and speak. Mm -hmm. That's the only way. Yeah. So a lot of the times I'll, they, you know, with my family, a lot of them, a lot of them speak English, but a lot of them don't. And, you know, especially my abuela who's getting old, my grandma, she's, you know, 86 years old and doesn't speak any English and while I'm down here it was super important for me to like speak with her and so I, they make me speak Spanish and I just speak very slowly I don't care how long it takes me I have to think about every word mm -hmm. and a lot of the times I'm still wrong and they just correct me yeah but you know if but they I don't care right if I make the mistake and they correct me I just try to you know make sure I get it right the next time and um, like you said a lot of people are, are, are myself included were are nervous to speak because you don't want to sound silly but the problem is if you don't speak and you don't make yourself allow yourself the opportunity to sound silly then you're never going to learn the language yeah the only way to learn is to be thrown in and just speak it yeah like were you the one that was telling me about how you learned how to swim yeah yeah that was me so so when I learned how to swim, I, I just got pushed into the deep end and I learned how to swim. <laughs> yeah, you just learned right quick. Because otherwise I wouldn't be here right now. You probably weren't a pretty swimmer. You right, know, you weren't Michael Phelps. Good, right. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's how it is when you're learning a language. You gotta, um, you have to use broken Spanish. Like that's just it, you have to use bad, you have to start with bad Spanish. And it's embarrassing to use bad grammar and have everyone think you're an idiot, <laughs> but who cares? It's like, we <laughs> about the egg. Yeah. We so we were reading this meme online. I found this meme on Facebook or something like that, and it says there was this Chinese guy who went to the store and he was looking for eggs, but he didn't know the no, word. No, he was looking for chicken. He was looking for chicken, but he didn't know he didn't know how the word chicken. So instead of asking the attendant where is the where are, where do you have the chicken, he finds an egg and holds it up and says, "Where is mother?" So sometimes you just got to be creative and use bad language, bad English, bad Spanish, whatever you're learning. Um, bad Portuguese. Bad Portuguese, yeah, since we've been here. So let me tell you this. Um, we, I, As we were on the way to the, this beach here, um, we took this like this shuttle van thing, mm -hmm. and there were some Brazilians there, and they spoke a little bit of Spanish, so I was able to communicate with them a little bit, but not very much, and I was telling them, hey, listen, you're from Brazil? perfect opportunity for me to learn something I want to learn Portuguese and so I basically I was trying at first I was just trying to speak Spanish with a Portuguese accent basically <laughs> um, but then little by little they teach me one word and I just had to I would always forget them and I would like keep going back and saying hey how do you say that word again how do you say Even that word lunch, again? Even at lunch he like points to the things on the tray mm -hmm. like oh what was this what was this what yeah was this? and I can't ask them this stuff in Portuguese and right. they don't really speak enough Spanish for me to understand but I would like point to something I was like Peixe, 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 pe, pe, and I like kind of do this to show like I'm confused or I don't know exactly. Or limon, or you know, fa, uh, the fango, chicken? fango, Fra fang frango, 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 I think, something like that. Yeah. And I would point to it, um, and you just kind of act confused, and you don't even <laughs> have to actually know how to say. Ask. You don't have to know exactly how to ask them what's the correct word for it. You can 
just communicate using sign language and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, I, I think you're the perfect example of just yeah being bold and just throwing yourself into the deep end. Yeah, and... in order to talk to my – one of my uncles speaks – pretty good English but he's way obviously way better at Spanish and mm -hmm. my cousin speaks great English but my abuela and my other uncle don't speak any English at all and it was just a matter of me being required they, they yeah I had to speak mm -hmm. Spanish and there were some times also where like we would be driving around the car somewhere and I'd be telling stories you know we had we just uh, we, we had some really great bonding time driving yeah. around in the car with his family telling stories everyone tells a story everyone laughs and sometimes I would translate you know just to help him connect with his grandma who doesn't understand English I would help by translating for him but other times I would say all right now you're gonna tell this story and you're yeah. gonna say it in Spanish he'd be yeah. like I can't and I'd be like I don't just care if you, I don't care if you can if you like just start yeah just say something and I'll help you like right. if, if you don't know the words I'll help you yeah. but just start and if you can't figure out how to say something find a different way of saying that thing right. my Spanish has I think it's increased immensely since i've in the one week what one week and a half that we've been here yeah um i know how to use the past tense now finally yeah because everything was present tense i could say i ate something yesterday i was like i'm eating it right now but it was <laughs> yesterday because right. i know the word for yesterday but i didn't know how to say i ate so it'd be like i eat chicken yesterday <laughs> lo como ayer <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so it, but it was everything was present tense for me like i didn't know past tense and now through practice with aaron and through practice with my family and my my cousin introduced me to this beautiful girl who doesn't speak any English. That's really good motivation right there. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's that's what broke me out of my shell because yeah. when I was with Aaron or I was with my family, I was too nervous to speak. Mm -hmm. And with a girl, you can't be nervous to speak. So yeah. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Like, if anything else, I'm going to mess it up and she's going to think I'm hilarious. Yes. And yeah. that's, that's another happened. thing. And I found out I was way better than I thought. And then through wanting to learn more so I can talk to this girl some more, I can now speak in the past tense also. And that's another thing, I'm glad you brought that up about if you screw up and your your Spanish or your English or whatever is really bad, you're gonna be a funny, you're gonna be the clown. <laughs> like people are gonna love you and you're gonna be like kind of sort of adorable in yeah. the sense that um, my favorite, my language learning hero is Fez from that 70s show. <laughs> because he speak, he's like this crazy weird little guy but everyone loves him because he's so, he's just, he's foreign. Adorable. Yeah, he's, he's adorable, <laughs> he's just foreign so. Um, that's just good motivation for not being afraid. Every time, like literally every time I start to feel a little self-conscious about how bad my language, whether it's my French or my Spanish or whatever, I think to myself like, I'm gonna be that really funny foreigner who you see in the, like, have you ever watched The Hangover? Yeah, yeah. Where the Chinese guy jumps out and he's like, I don't know, he's like, what you talking about, Willis? Right, 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 you know, right. or he, yep. um, you know, he's like the the fact. That it's my show, purse. This is my purse. Yeah, the fact that you show effort, they'll appreciate it, yeah. and they'll not only will they help you, but they'll also think you're hilarious when you get it wrong. Yeah, and you're gonna get good brownie points for that. Yeah, so. I don't know. I think that's basically about it. that. Sums it up. That yeah. is, yeah. The biggest thing is just don't be scared and take your time. Ask him. When I speak yeah. my Spanish, it is very very slow i think about yep. every word i think of words ahead of time because sometimes you know in spanish i have to put the adjective at the end or whatever so i speak very slowly but again because if they want you to speak spanish they're going to understand that you're speaking slow yeah don't try to speak perfect don't so it's you? it's no different than if you go to you know one of the towns in the united states and you have someone come up come up to you and speak broken english exactly it's the exact same thing and even if they say it wrong you probably know what they're saying mm -hmm. all right well, thanks for watching.